Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to recreate this Kourtney Kardashian inspired makeup look using the new Narcissist Loaded Eyeshadow Palette. The colors in this palette are so beautiful. I'll definitely have to do more looks using this. I'll probably post tutorial clips on my Instagram, so make sure to follow me there. And I also used the new Nars Laguna Bronzer. Yes, they came out with a new Laguna Bronzer formula. So they still make the older formula, which is more of a glowy bronzer. And this one, is, it's going to give you more of a blurred out soft effect to the face. So I have it on right now and I love it so much. They also have three additional shades which are really pretty as well. I just felt like this one would complement my skin tone a lot more. But I will have the additional shades including the Laguna and also the eyeshadow palette down below if you're interested in trying them yourself. Alright so I already primed my eyelids using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Now what I do is take a little bit of my foundation with my foundation brush and apply it to the inner and outer part of the eyelid. Here we go. I absolutely love this picture of her. So sexy. I'm gonna hold the palette upside down so I don't blind you with the mirror. I'm gonna start off with this color, wait. Oh crap, wrong one. I'm gonna start with this vanilla color right here. I'm gonna apply this on the brow bone and blend it down towards the crease. All right, I'm gonna take this color right here with a crease brush and apply it to the outer part of the crease, blending it in towards the crease softly. I don't want to take this color too far into the crease. I'm just keeping it about halfway of my crease. And I feel that Courtney's makeup is not too structured. There's no harsh lines or anything like that. So I want to make sure that I'm blending a lot. <laughs> Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go in with a MAC 217 brush. I'm gonna use the flat side of this brush and go in with this color right here. I'm gonna apply this color on my eyelid and blend it onto the crease. Well, I'm still gonna pick up that same color, but this time I'm gonna go in with a flat brush. This is gonna pack the color a lot more on the eyelid. All right, I think that's it for the shadows. Um, I'm gonna move on to eyeliner. I really love how these shadows blend, by the way. I highly recommend this palette. You know the price is kinda high, but honestly, the quality is there with the price, you know? All right, so I'm gonna use the Tarte Double Take Liner, and I'm gonna use the pencil side, and very lightly line the top lash line. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe off any fallout. So something that I did notice is that there's hardly any fallout. This right here is actually from the foundation that I applied initially around my eye area, but there's no like shadow fallout. And I did use, you know, medium dark shadows. I see like one, two, like I can literally count the fallout. One, two, three, three fallouts. That is impressive, you guys. I'm gonna move on to the face. Um, for primer, I'm using this Tarte Clean Slate Primer because I do have, you know, larger pores on this region of my face. At first, it comes out really thick, but after you massage it into your skin, it just kind of thins out a little bit more. All right, so moving on, for foundation, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It's so good. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it. But I'm also going to mix it with a little bit of the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. The Wet n Wild Foundation is a little bit too light for me right now, so surprisingly, I never thought I would say those words. And the Makeup Forever one is a little bit too dark, so together, hopefully, they create the perfect shade. So for concealer, I'm going to be using two NARS concealers. I'm going to start off with Honey underneath my eyes or on the areas where I have the darkness. This is going to act as a color corrector because it's more pink. I'm using my Makeup Forever 144 brush. This is my favorite concealer brush. And now I'm going to take the NARS concealer in vanilla and apply that over the first concealer. Hopefully it doesn't look too, too bright. If not, I can just go over it with foundation. 
All right, so my favorite part of my makeup routine is bronzer, and Courtney is definitely bronzy. So I'm gonna be using this Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Contour. Oh, I thought it was a bronzer. <laughs> I'm going to use this Tarte Smooth Operator in the color Fair to set my under eye area. So I'm going to use a little bit of the Urban Decay Primer Potion and apply it underneath my lash line. Go back in with the same lip color in a flat shader brush and apply it underneath the lash line to create some definition. This is something that I've actually been doing a lot. I feel like Courtney usually has something bright inside of her waterline to make her eyes appear a little bit bigger. But for me, I usually use whatever shadow I use underneath my lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and now do my brows because I feel so bald without them. I'm using the NYX powder pencil in the shade Brunette. Before I put on my fake lashes, I'm gonna do my inner corner and this time I'm going to use that same bright highlight that we used on the brow bone to really brighten up the eyes. Mm, this is probably not bright enough and I don't want to use anything shimmery so I'm probably going to have to use, it's from the Essence Nude Palette. I'm going to take this bright vanilla color. Yes, perfect. Woo! Now I get to apply my lashes. I just ordered the Queen Bee Lashes by Coco Lashes. All right, so now I'm gonna apply my powder bronzer, the new NARS Laguna Bronzer. Oh my gosh, I really love the packaging. It's a lot more sleek, it's a lot more square. It's not like a rounded edge anymore and the mirror is amazing, by the way. I could do my whole makeup with this. It's so pretty and it's very lightweight. The eyeshadow palette has a little bit more weight to it. But just look at this design. Isn't that pretty? I don't even want to use it. Maybe I shouldn't use it. Now I'm going to highlight my face. I'm going to use the Laura Geller... Gilded Honey Highlighter with an Inglot 4SS brush. I'm gonna apply my lipstick. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. I'm gonna do what I did on my last video. I wanted my lip to be a little bit more nude. So I'm taking the smallest amount of my foundation with my finger. Rub it a little bit so you sheer it out. And this is a really good trick if you're trying to get a really nude nude. Just go over your lipstick. And it's gonna make it more part of your skin but it's not gonna completely blend in because you already have that darker nude underneath. See, it's just like the perfect nude. All right, so I feel like her lips are usually more glossy, so I'm gonna add a gloss on top to this Lorac lip gloss in the shade Socialite. All right, guys, so that's all for this Kourtney Kardashian-inspired makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more celebrity-inspired makeup looks. I think I want to start doing that. It's pretty fun. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out any future videos. And if you do subscribe, make sure to hit the little bell so that way it notifies you when I upload a video. You can also follow me on Instagram if you'd like. I will have all of my social medias down below. And thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you.